Hello there once again, I'm Peter Vaughan and here's another chapter of the name of the day. We're going to be doing the letter H and I'm going to have an H for a male and female or a girl and guy's name and I'm going to put up here Henry, a name most people know, and Helen is another good one as people will know about. Now the beginning of each of these names here, which I often underline, doing again, the letter H represents a letter which is the bridge of experience between one side and the other. Because the letter is the value 8, which means authority, and it's an intelligent number. As the letter represents the bridge of experience going from one side of knowing something to the other, it's like I've done it now. I've fully experienced with what I've just done on a large scale. There are three letters that have a value of 8, H, Q, and Z. And although they are 8, each one of them, this one is the, sorry, the 17th letter, and this is the 26th letter of the alphabet. Now, although this is a single digit and a double digit and another double digit, and they all sum to the number 8, they have something in common. But what they don't have in common is their shape and their meaning. And this is why different letters in a person's name have and make a major difference to that person's personality. So let's put the other numbers in under Henry. 5, 5, 9, and 7. 5, 3, 5, and 5. Henry, and we added up 8 and, oh, well, there's 10. 8 and 10 is 18, and 9 is 27, and 7 is 34. 3 and 4 equals 7. Helen, uh, 8 and 5 is 13, 16, and 10 is 26, which is 8. So we've got 7 and 8, similar front on both of them, very different numbers underneath. The seven itself represents wisdom, so this is a very smart person, very clever in what they do. They learn a lot from experience, but the letter Y at the end of the name Henry, as we've talked about before with that letter, it represents which way do I go when I'm confronted with an event of some sort when I was in one direction and now I may have to go in another direction. A bit like a pause looking at the detour signs, which way do I go, or a direction sign saying you can go to the destination you want to go to this way or that way, and they go through different areas or terrain. So the letter Y then says you've got to be learned and understanding before you progress forward. And as Henry is a name that does a lot of thinking, and that the word think adds up to the number seven, it's over here, the word brain adds up to the number eight. Seven is more gentle. It's like patience, perfecting an idea, understanding it, gaining knowledge about it. Whereas the eight says, no, I know what I'm doing. I'm just going to push ahead and do it anyway. I'm strong. I'm determined. And Helen's are very strong and very determined people. The letter Y at the end here and the letter N at the end there, which of course is that shape, means all my past overflows with my new knowledge into the present, into the future. There's your present line right through the gaps. And then I've gained up more knowledge by having this overflow into the new area. Now the overflow is almost like you're going through a training course and you learn the basics. And then they say, now you need to understand a wee bit more to take it to the next level. We're making a cake. Now we're going to talk about icing. And now we're going to talk about a two-tier cake. Maybe we're going to talk about a three-tier cake. So this is the gaining of knowledge all the way, which is the tools of development that is part of the N, or the, the letter N, and what it means. Now, you can't shorten Helen really to anything. And Henry, I don't think you'd call them hen, like a, <laughs> like a bird. So I'd say in that respect then, Henry is a seven. They're very smart and thinking people. And Helen are very tough, 
strong and determined thinkers. Now, although this could be a person who enjoys psychology, because the name uh, that has a value of eight reflects a lot to astrology, or sorry, psychology, hear me thinking because some people call me like an astrologer. No, numerologist, and numerology is not about numbers. It's the psychology of all the letters. And in Henry here, the number seven is a person who's a researcher, if you looked at it that way. Research. So the difference between these two, apart from starting with and having the same strength of a name up front, of it taking a challenge on, this one would think it through, this one pushes it through. Interesting thing about names and how they shape people's personalities. So thanks for watching. Click the like button and even subscribe. As Peter says, everything is in your name. Hi, Peter here again. If you liked what you saw, I have a full personality profiling service, but not just from your first name, from your whole name and your date of birth. The report covers your hidden skills and talents, what motivates you, how others see you, and much, much more, even an in-depth forecast. Follow the link in the description below for more direction. And again, thanks for watching.